Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you are doing good and utilizing this time very effectively um, i in the previous video lectures we did uh, question number 1 2 and 3 and in this video lecture we will do some more questions question number 4 i think uh, you can do it of your own if still if you can't please let me know we will do question number 5 and uh, before uh, moving forward i recommend you please while watching this video keep the book with you so that you can have a clear idea about the question i i also expect that uh, you are watching this video daily basis and i recommend you please get used to prepare these uh, via lessons uh, topics on the daily basis so let's move forward uh, it, uh, i will read the question in a circle of radius 21 cm and arc subtendous angle of 60 degree at the center find the length of arc area of sector and the area of segment so here three parts are uh, given which we are supposed to find so let us move forward it is uh, question number 5 radius a circle having radius 21 what it makes uh, angle of uh, uh, 60 degree at the center so this is the center angle central angle a let us name it aob so here we are have to find the first part is find the length of arc length of arc part number first length of arc length of arc is what it is uh, theta divided by 360 into 2 pi or you know this formula very well so let us substitute what here theta equal to 60 degree this is radius this is radius it is given it is 21 or equal to 21 cm so use here therefore length of arc equal to theta is 60 divided by 360 into 2 into pi is 22 by 7 you have to use here 22 by 7 r is 21 this and this will cancel out 6 will cancel out with 6 so 7 ones 7 threes 3 ones 3 twos 2 and 2 will cancel we are left with 22 cm so length of <coughs> arc is 22 cm part number second is area of the sector part number second this is your sector this portion you have to find it is area so what is the formula for the area it is theta divided by 360 into pi r square so now let us find it it is 60 divided by 360 pi is 22 by 7 into r is 21 into 21 this and this will cancel out 6 1 6 6 7 1s 7 3s 3 1s 3 2s 2 1s 2 11s so we are left with 11 into 20 this is simple calculation i hope you can do it of your own so it is 2 3 square centimeter so what is the actually we we can multi i will show it here short trick of the multiplication with 11 for example if you have 11 into 54 add up these 5 plus 4 is 9 put 9 between 5 and 4 this will its answer 11 into um, 32 3 plus 2 is 5 put uh, 5 between 3 and 2 it is 3 5 2 so i hope you will get it and the last is uh, area of segment formed by corresponding chord so if you draw a chord here so this is the segment you have to find it is area how can we find it is area in the previous uh, video lectures we have discussed about how to find the areas of uh, segment so if this is a sector o a let us name it here p o a p b o a p b if this uh, if we can uh, if we subtract uh, area of uh, triangle from the area of sector uh, area of <coughs> ah, yes o a p b is the area of sector minor sector actually if we subtract it with the area of this triangle we we are left with the area of segment so first of all area of sector o a p b we have already found it it is 2 3 1 square centimeter 
now we are here required to find the area of triangle we will subtract area of triangle to area of sector then we will get the area of segment simple if o a b v look at the figure carefully if you subtract this whole area with area of triangle you are left with area of segment so let's find the area before that you pause the video to note it down and remember that area of we can area of sector is 2 3 1 we will will write it here 2 3 1 as our <coughs> keep here it so first of all we will find the area of this triangle the very important concept here look in triangle o a b can we write o a equals o b how and why because o a equals o b this is the radius of same circle radius of same circle O A equals O B radius of same circle. You know you have read in your previous classes that if in a triangle, any triangle, two sides are equal, then its opposite angles are equal. Suppose if this side equals this side, what is the which angle is opposite to this side? It is angle A. Which angle is opposite to this side? It is angle B. Angle A equals angle B. So you have read in your previous classes this concept that if a triangle any if any two sides are equal then that their opposite angles are equal. If in a triangle sides are equal, their opposite angles are equal. And converse of this is also true if angles are equal, their opposite sides are equal. So here this in triangle OA equals OB two sides are equal. So according to the, that concept, this concept their opposite angles will be equal so what which angle is opposite to OA it is angle B which angle is opposite to OB it is angle A so we will write angle A equals angle B reason being angles opposite to equal sides of equal sides of triangle are equal take a look now what this angle is 60 it is given so sum of angles of triangle is 180 so sum of this that means sum of a plus b is 120 because uh, sum of three angles is 180 one angle is 60 so sum of two will be 120 but angle a plus angle b equals 120 is it because sum is 180 one is 60 so sum of two will be 120 look here two angles are equal and sum of two angles is 120 two angles are equal and also their uh, sum is 120 so can uh, can you tell that uh, uh, how much each angle is it is clearly it is 60 60 we will write angle a equals angle b equals 66 sum of two angles is 120 two are equal so each each of will be 66 so this is 60 this is 60 it means that oh b is an equilateral triangle which means that which means that means that triangle OAB is an equilateral triangle equilateral triangle I hope you will get this concept so to find the area of a equilateral triangle remember the formula that if we have a equilateral triangle with sides A it is area is equal to A under root 3 divided by 4 into A square where A is the side of triangle so here this is 21 this is 21 so this would be this will be also 21 so let's find it is area we will write now area of triangle therefore area of triangle area of triangle o a b equals root 3 divided by 4 into a square what is a it is 21 into 21 so let's multiply it it is 21 into 21 is 441 into root 3 divided by 4 square centimeter we have found the area of triangle OAB now we will <coughs> here keep the formula remember for your remembrance a square root 3 divided by 4 this is area of an equilateral triangle 
write it of your own now therefore therefore area of segment APP APP it is area of sector O A P P minus area of triangle O A P which is further equal to area of sector O A P B we have already found it it is 2 3 1 minus what is area of triangle it is 4 4 1 divided by root 3 into 4 so you multiply it this is 4 1 is 4 3 is 12 4 2 is 8 that is 9 minus 4 4 1 into root 3 divided by 4 keep this is as it is square centimeter so area of segment is this i hope you will get it if you still have any question or doubt in this please uh, let me know so let us give the clear picture of this so if you have any doubt or question please let me know thank you class